Now, if you guys were living under a rock, uh, Giga Berlin has just had his grand opening and Elon was there just dancing about. And he did uh, just give us a little hint on what's to come with FSD Beta and his whole uh, third phase of the master plan. Now, of course, we're going to talk about the master plan in another video. But for this one alone, let's talk about FSD Beta and what are we expecting? Well, like I mentioned, two days away, that is uh, the estimate as of right now. And it seems like that's going to be holding true because he did announce it officially at Giga Berlin. He was there letting the world know that Europe is going to probably be seeing his first sign of FSD beta in about three weeks from now. Now during his meeting he did mention that FSD beta is going to be showing its first rounds of users this coming week here. So that's probably going to be us. Now I'm not sure how big the expansion is going to be but if it was something like the US we're probably going to be seeing a batch of literally a thousand people and then probably next week you're going to have another thousand people and so on and so forth. Now now the other interesting thing during this meeting is the fact that Elon mentioned that Europe is going to be seeing its first signs of FSD beta. At least the regulators are going to be getting to see what it's like before approving it for it to be on the roads in all of Europe. Now Elon did emphasize that it is especially hard in Europe because of all the different countries uh, running different types of roads, different types of signages. Um, just imagine in London versus in Germany, um, so on and so forth. It's a little bit different and you'll sometimes see squiggly lines on the roads you'll see people parked on the streets the sidewalks and you have different names and different uh, just orientations of everything regarding where you can do certain things where you can park um, all of that is something that FSD has to really learn now the differences with those countries versus the countries in North America is the fact that we do use a sort of a uniform type of uh, road signage and uh, just road orientation everything just kind of laid out the exact same way although there are some some sort of regulations let's say turning on left or turning on a yellow light uh, that might be a little bit different uh, but overall it's pretty much the same all right so let's go back to the most important one and that is Canada that's where I am in Vancouver BC we're gonna be seeing our first sign of it uh, likely on Friday at midnight now the reason why I believe it's gonna be at the end of Friday is because he did mention that it's gonna be at the end of the week and uh, typically at the end of the week we all refer to it as a Friday uh, at midnight so if you guys are like me you're probably hoping out for a Friday a midnight launch if not at worst case scenario you're gonna see a Saturday midnight launch uh, that is uh, the official uh, end of week and Sunday is typically the start of the week so if you want to play it that way that's how it's likely gonna come out so expect it a two to three days um, but I think we're all hoping for a Friday midnight so I can go out and start testing it all right so I know you guys are all excited but for the first batch of people that is gonna be be the 100 scorers out there. Now I know Canadians are pretty safe drivers but I think 199 is what Elon is shooting for and then probably in the following weeks we're gonna see 98, 97 and 95. Now I am pretty confident that Elon is gonna keep his promise this time around but I do hope that it does arrive very soon because there is some signs of snow on the ground still in uh, some parts of Canada. Definitely you're not gonna see it in Vancouver because it is the most warmest part of Canada. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of warmer temperatures right now. You're starting to see see trees bud right now so you're not gonna see any signs of snow here but just a little bit across uh, you're gonna see in another province like Alberta you're gonna see some slush and some snow on the ground and especially if you start moving east uh, to Toronto you're probably gonna see a lot more of that so I definitely do want to have some testing done especially in this province where we do have a little bit less snow and more slush we do have all the mountain hills and passes so I'm definitely gonna be taking FSD beta up there now if you guys want to follow along please make sure to hit that subscribe subscribe and that bell notification this is where you're gonna see the rest of uh, the demos and testing if you guys want to see more of the car in action and not just me sitting here talking right now go check back at my previous videos those are where uh, some of the more live demos are happening but yeah so like I said I hope it does arrive this weekend because there's a lot of testing to be done and with the snow on the ground I think that's gonna make it a little bit more interesting as well but one thing to keep note is that it's probably not gonna work at the best in Canada it hasn't been tested in Canada uh, except for for those testers that belong to Tesla but uh, there are roads here that are a little bit wonky now in just terms of comparison with the states Vancouver is pretty much identical I'm not really seeing any
anything different, but as soon as you start going east, you start going to Alberta, Saskatchewan, pretty much all the way to the end of the east, you're gonna start seeing a different type of signages, you're gonna see different types of roads, narrower roads, you're gonna see uh, the lights being a little bit different. One comparison is that in Calgary and Edmonton, the roads are a little bit different, especially the road lights are different. It is running horizontal instead of vertical. I did make a specific video just on that alone. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll drop it right up top there and in the description below. So yeah, we are pretty much all waiting patiently. I'm waiting just like you guys are. And I know I'm holding my 100 score, but there are times where I really need to use my car. And Teslas are my only cars. One of them, I'm sort of just using it on the sideline with a score of 98. And the other one is at a score of 100. I know if I mess up one, the other one might just still get it, but I don't want to take that chance. So I'm trying to stay without a car for now. Believe it or not, I'm actually paying for a monthly pass transit for the first time ever, just to make sure I don't ruin this moment. But uh, for those of you guys that are doing this similar thing as well, let me know in the comments below, uh, how are you guys keeping your 100 score? Because I'm having a difficult time. Sometimes I just go out to my car at night just to drive slowly in an alley or some where there's no cars at all but even that I do get knocked off a few points so I'm pretty disappointed overall in my driving skills I hope the scores that I have right now even though it's knocked down a few points is still enough for Tesla to give me FSD beta so uh, let's hold out for that and just one additional thing I'm hoping for is FSD beta subscription now I don't recommend that you guys go and pay 10 to 12 grand for FSD right now, it just kind of sucks overall uh, without FSD beta, but it'll be worth it in the end if you do get FSD beta on your car. That's pretty much what all of us are waiting for. So let's make that happen, guys. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please, please hit that subscribe button, that bell notification. And once again, this is John. Peace out.